A teenager headed home after treatment at St. Jude winds up bloodied on the ground at Memphis International Airport. Tonight, Hannah Cohen and her mother are suing the airport and the TSA after the girl with brain injuries got in a security checkpoint scuffle. WREG's Wayne Carter is live at the airport. Now, Wayne uncovered this story that you will see only on WREG tonight. Wayne. Yeah, Claudia, the incident happened at this security checkpoint. This teenager with a tumor on her brain stem clearly confused and winds up in a scuffle with airport police. We want to warn you, the very next image you see will be pretty disturbing. Bloodied and bruised, Hannah Cohen is led from Memphis International Airport in handcuffs. And they grabbed her from both sides and it freaked her out. The 19-year-old headed home to Chattanooga after treatment for a brain tumor at St. Jude. It's a trip they've made for 17 years, but this time an unarmed Hannah set off the metal detector at a security checkpoint. They wanted to do further scanning and she was very reluctant. She didn't understand what they were about to do. Her mother Shirley told us she tried to tell TSA agents her daughter's deaf, blind in one eye, paralyzed and easily confused, but says she was kept a distance away by police. She's trying to get away from them, but the, and then the next instant, they had her, one of them had her down on the ground and hit her head on the floor. And I looked and there's blood everywhere. Hannah was arrested, booked, and on the night she should have been celebrating the end of her treatment, she was locked up in jail east. Here we were with uh, no way to go, uh, not even a toothbrush, because our Already Authorities later threw out the charges, but the family filed a lawsuit against the Memphis airport, airport police, and TSA. None of them would comment, citing the suit, but TSA did say that passengers can call ahead of time to learn more about the screening process for their particular needs or medical situation. Shirley Cohen says after all the help here, she can't believe it ended like this. Yeah, she's not saying that she'll always be my baby. I mean, We've been through so much. The lawsuit was filed in court today. In it, the family's asking for $100,000. We're live at Memphis International Airport tonight. Wayne Carter, WREG, News Channel 3.